So in this section, I want to talk about Giro pastels. So these are a small pastel. I believe they're oriented out of France. They have a Facebook page, etc., etc., etc. So these are small stick pastels. And the only reason that I mention this, and again, these are optional. I mean, you obviously can just get a soft pastel, do your pencils, and you're done for the day, right? If you want to go that extra mile, you want to spend a couple of more bucks, here's what I would recommend you getting. Number one, I would recommend you get the black pastel, and I'm about to show you why. It is dark. I don't know what they do to make it this dark, but it out darks any other pastel I have, uh, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. The other pastel I would recommend would be the 359. This is a light blue, and sometimes I'll use it a little bit where the whites go to get a cool white, and it gives a little interest to the eye when you put it down. See, instead of white, now that's a cool white. Now, you don't want to, like, dump a massive amount of dust into the white area there, but all of a sudden, that gives a little bit more interest than a pure white. It just has a little cool effect to it, and that's why I like it. So this is 359, and then the black, the blacker than black, 526 black. Then the last pastel I would recommend from this company would be this one, which is the just the pure white. So you got pure white, you have the cool white, and you have the black. The reason I say that I like these so much is the black, again, is the darkest black I have ever seen. The white has some sort of a sparkle to it. I'm not sure what they add to it, but it has a sparkle and it looks spectacular. These are the only three that I would recommend getting. Now, good news is they're wonderful, right? Bad news is they're five bucks each for a little stick. I mean, for five bucks, that's just too much money to just buy a big, big, big set. In my opinion, hey, if you are independently wealthy, if you are a millionaire, if you have lots and lots of money to spend on pastels, if you're getting them free or something, I would recommend getting a big set, but I gotta pay for mine, so I just get these three. Of course, I have extras because I wanted to try them out, but for the most part, I have a lot of these, or uh, I have several versions of these. In other words, I have like, you know, four. I use them so often, I have four of each, so. That's just me. So let's use these. I call these the super pastels. Let me show you why. It will be immediately apparent why I call these the super pastels. So you get this and you're gonna go into this black right here and you're gonna put that in there. And you'll see all of a sudden it just brings it to life. It's so dark. Super, super, super dark. Insanely dark. I love it. Love these pastels. So you can see here where I was having issues with the pencil, getting it dark enough. A couple of strokes with this. So you can see an issue where I was here, where I was having with the pencils. And so I just added a couple of strokes of this and it just made an amazing difference. I mean, look, that just pops. The problem that we're having right now with the cat is it's too mid-tone. Everything's in the middle. We need to break it out. We need to break out of the mid-tone. Just grab the mid-tone and pull it out. That means put in the darks, put in the lights, make it real, right? So let's do this for this. All right, so we have some black strokes up here. Let me show you the difference here. Let's get a black pencil. Let's say this right here. So we have, this is a hard pencil. It's ivory black from Criticolor, right? So we're gonna get this, this and we're gonna put it into here. And we're gonna try to make some marks and try to get this area dark, right? So you have this area here. You're trying to get it dark trying to get it to where it looks right, trying to get it where it looks good. And I spent a lot of time on there and it still sort of is not really exactly like I want it. Putting it some hairs up here and things like that, right? So you see that still looks mid-tone. I mean, isn't that weird? That That's, I mean, I'm pressing fairly hard too. I'm not gonna snap the pencil lead, but I'm pressing very hard and it still looks mid-tone. All right. Let's come in here with a super pastel and show you show you what happens when you put a real super pastel on it, right? I 
I mean, just look at that. Look, look at the dramatic difference. Look at the massive amount of difference. And I know what you're saying. You're saying the pencil is a hard pastel and this is a soft pastel, but still, I can get a Rembrandt, go over here, it won't look this dark. I can get a Unison, go over here and it won't be this dark. This, again, my opinion, just my, my class, my opinion. I mean, I've used quite a few pastels and you just can't get the magic from a regular pastel that you can get with this thing. And it is amazing. I wish they didn't cost five bucks each, but um, I'm willing to spend the money for, to get three of them. So you'll notice up here, you have a fairly dark area. Let's get that up there, get that dark as well, and then come down through here. And again, you all, in every video that we have on making any pets, making any animals, anything, you'll notice me getting out this particular pastel and going with it. And again, I mean, I, I did this because I would get out the, the pencils and I would not get the depth that I needed. You can't have a mid-tone like this it's, and you have like an animal that you want to just make pop off the page. I mean, I mean I'm sure there's mid-tone uh, uh, mid drawings that are good, but I'm just saying if you want a pet that pops out, if you want something that really brings it to life, this is going to be it. So I'm just getting you know some hairs on here right I mean it is a soft pastel after all so I'm not gonna get these fine fine line hairs or anything like that but I do want to get just that just the areas here and the areas there and just get sort of a, a, a smidge of this dark in here where the darks are the whole thing is not dark obviously but you do have darks and it's it's since it's a stick and it's a harder thin pastel you can get those fine lines like watch this like I want to get a hair right here I can just get that fine line through there like that you get a pretty fine line through that I mean, it's not gonna be a thin thin super thin line like you get with a colored pencil but it's not like a really thick line or anything like that so I'm just varying the degrees of the line and whatnot coming in here and I'm pressing a little lighter as I come up just getting the dark we need the darks bottom line you need the darks if you don't have the darks it's not going to look right so to come in through here and make that all right so I'm pretty happy with that and I got that there want some darks around the nose here not a lot I do want like that and then I want some darks here some darks here and then the rest I'll do with the pencils so I'm pretty happy with that and then as you come down here we have the dark it's not that dark in the reference but uh, I do want a little bit of representation for that and that's not very dark but again I want some representation for that and again you'll see all of a sudden this thing just pops really looks nice so this is the Super Pastel. This is your Giro. And again, in like every one of these, you'll see me grab this. So let's, let's, let's switch gears here. And let's go to this Cool White. Again, the Cool White number 359. It's called a, a Light Blue is actually the, you know, the sort of the thing for it. And again, we're going to get, get our Cool White and just come in here and get some of these white marks up there. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to cover the entire thing in this, but having it in your painting really, really makes it, really makes it pop. So I'm going to put these where the super white areas are, and then we're going to sort of blend it out a little bit. The paper is dark gray, believe it or not. Uh, I just ruined my line. go the direction of the hair obviously you've heard me talk about that forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever don't want to ruin my fine hairs coming out of there like that so now you have that really bright popping white we'll come back and use this some more but just want to introduce this pastel to you it's so fun it's such a great pastel Again, it is expensive, but I mean, 
And for me, it's an investment. It's something that I'm going to use forever and ever and ever and ever. And they do last a long time because we're not pressing that hard. So here is the white. And the white is 525. Like that. So you have that nice white. Just getting some of the hair, some of the white in here. Coming in through here, we have like a white area in here. And you got that mix between the between that cool white and, and the, the actual white. It has a nice, nice mix in it there. Looks really good. So that is my friends, Giro Pastels. You can see the dramatic difference in the whites. You can see the dramatic difference in the amount of dark that I have in here. And you can see just an overall punch that I have given this just in a few seconds. So, highly recommended, that is Giro Pastel, otherwise known as the Super Pastel, as I like to call it.